What do you mean she left on her own? Where could she have gone? What the hell happened to your security guards? If you have any news, call me immediately. The headmistress of the school said she didn't sleep in her bed last night. Damn it. This is all we needed. Whatever is in her head, she sure timed it perfectly. Our hands are tied until we get her back here. Contact Hammer for me. Hammer? Isn't he a bit risky? We've got little choice. Come from Manhattan. You want me to take you back there? No. You know this is the Bronx. I know. I came here purposely. Anywhere away from them is better. But nothing is worse than this hellhole. That's what you think. We 
running a hell of a risk. I hope you know that, Fisher. I do know that, Farley. I know it's risky. Only let the operation continue. All right, but nobody's to know about it. It's top secret, understand? I got it. When you've got some good news, call me. I'll be waiting. Yes, sir. Where's the ogre? How you doing, Trash? I said, where's the ogre? He's mighty pissed. His generosity is right on just the same. I mean, giving Chris's body back to you. Brotherly love. Only the heart's missing. He ate it. Hi, Trash. Long time no see. Leech is a blood freak. If it was up to him, he'd turn the Bronx into a cemetery. Why'd you do it, Olga? We had a deal. You and the riders had to stay in your own territory. Remember? No trespassing. Besides. The sucker was carrying a gizmo. I did you a favor, Trash. Bullshit. Oh, yeah? What the hell you call this? Its wavelength is the same as that of the Manhattan police. You think I'm jiving? If I were you, Trash, I'd be worried. 
if I found one of my own men carrying a gizmo. Now they know exactly where we're based. We're in for a few surprises. I'd be on the lookout. Trash. So glad you and the ogre understand each other so well. Be seeing you around, Trash. Leech. about this? That son of a bitch almost fucked it up for all of us. You think he was a spy? Who knows? Could have been. We lost a tracing signal. Hell, Farley, there's no sign of the girl. And we lost contact with our informer. Fisher should be here in half an hour. If anything gives, get in touch with me on the reserve code. This whole operation is hush, hush. Not a word, understand? were up to me, I'd clean the whole goddamn borough with napalm, sizzle them out of existence. Just thank your lucky stars we never have to go down there. I'm just fine as long as we keep flying above those creeps. Jesus, look at him, scum of the earth. The lousy cockroaches think they own the whole fucking borough. Look at him, enough to make you vomit. But I think, I think it was a setup. Right? It's Gizmo. You're still thinking about it. Come on, turn your attention to something more important, Trash. Like the ogre. You seen the way he and the tigers come strutting in like they were hot shit? You have seen it, rat. Those fuckers need straightening. We gotta put them in their place once and for all. The way I see it, Ogre did us a favor telling us Chris was a spy. A favor? He did us a favor? Maybe we should send him a thank you note. Blade, do something you haven't done in a long while. Like, think. Would you mind asking Blade here to put his gray matter in motion? What's this spy shit? And who was he a spy for? The tigers? No way. It wasn't his style and they stood to gain nothing. But the ogre. And hot dog. You know what? The fact is, I wouldn't be at all surprised if it was them that sold him the fucking gizmo in the first place. I think it's time we got even. What do you think, Trash? Maybe. I was the one he was spying on. Yeah. Who knows? Shit. Since he's hooked up with that Manhattan pussy, all his blood has rushed to his cock. How did she end up in the Bronx? She apparently went there on her own initiative. Her own initiative? Yeah. That's insane. The wealthiest, most affluent girl in the world runs away and hides in the Bronx. That's sheer insanity. 
Samuel Fisher, ID code level one. Top priority. Authorized communication. Please begin. Farley, it's Sam. I'm in Manhattan. I'm sure Fred has informed you already that we lost contact. Yes. Do you think Hammer will accomplish the mission just the same? Affirmative. Anne must be brought back at any cost. Calling patrol van 8. We receive. We're cruising the 12th district. No action. 10 4. What's bothering you? Nothing. You got somebody back there? <laughs> no. It's not what you think. Maybe you don't like it here. No, I'm happy with you here. I'd like to believe it. It's true. This is the first time I feel that I really belong to someone. That I'm truly part of something that's all mine. I feel safe with you, Trash. Don't you ever let them take me away from you. Who? Nobody. Nobody. Just hold me. Hold me tight. like the fuzz. The cops in the Bronx. Downright heroic. <laughs> what do you say, man? Come on, play, huh? Simmer down. Hey, there are four punks down at the end of the street. Don't forget, McCormick. The lieutenant said try to avoid contact. Yeah, we didn't say we couldn't defend ourselves. They gotta be crazy in the head. Silly ass fuckers. I wonder what they're after. Check it out. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. Go on, step on it. Make them shit in their pants. Man, they should get a medal. Shall we? We'll be their welcoming committee. Where'd they go? I don't see him anywhere now. Red. I don't know. Tough looking bunch of guys.
Hey! One more step and you're dead. Try to leave us and you're dead. Just stay where you are and you're dead.
Where you going, hot dog? <laughs> you motherfucker. I love you like a brother. I would unscrew that leg of yours and shove it down your throat. Calm down. Let's hear it, hot dog. What are you in such a hurry for? I have an appointment with the President of the United States. Very funny. <laughs> He's trying to cover up for the guy who shot at us. He don't trust no one, Ice. Mind I take a little look around in there? Help yourself. Take a look around, you guys. Right. You never met your mother, did you? She just kind of popped you into the sewer and split. Letting you blossom into the asshole you are today. Just keep talking fag face and I'll tear your fucking lid off. Yeah. Find what you're looking for, pisshead. Satisfied? You sell that gizmo to Chris? I haven't sold nothing to nobody. I don't even know what the hell a gizmo is. And you dirt balls. You come chasing me all over town, ask me some stupid question about a gizmo? You guys are getting on my nerves. Be careful, I'll knock your block off. Well? Nothing to nobody. Blade? Not a trace. You stay here. Let's go. Did you get them? No. Bassett got away. They're too clever. Clever? What do you mean? I don't know what I mean. I found this at the top of the stairs. If it means anything. Impossible. First, let's honor our dead. is no man's land, where the worst things happen by themselves.
pass it on the intercom. Hammer on the phone. Yes? Fisher. Now listen to me, you bastard. We didn't invest a million dollars in you just to give you the pleasure of wearing a uniform. I have to do it my way. That's why I take such great pleasure in my work. However, if you're not satisfied, you can always have me terminated. That's right, terminated. Your record is real bad. Enough of this losing time. Lady, I can't send out every cop in the station house to look for your bag. You don't even know what bar you left it in. You know how many bags get lost or ripped off in this city every day? Damn fool. I still say we'd be better off sending in a special squad. We don't want any negative publicity. Let it be Hammer. He's the only guy who can handle it. He was born in the Bronx. He was one of them. That's the point. He has his own axe to grind. And he's a killer at heart. No. He's just an asshole who thinks he's gone. I hope you're right. My only concern is that he uh, brings the girl back safe and sound. This ring was found very close to Sandy and Speedy's bodies. Tigers. I knew it. I knew it, goddammit. First Chris and now Sandy and Speedy. Those pricks are rubbing us out one by one. What the fuck is this waiting? Let's go to war. Who is right? Let's go to war. 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 Kill them motherfuckers. I say it. Tigers run off. They're going to get it. Tigers bastards. Kill them motherfuckers. We cut their head. Kill them sons of bitches. Kill them I don't know. Did you hear what I heard? The guy's off his rocker. I'm not sure. Let this guy be. The trash. What are you saying? You don't know trash? What do you mean you don't know? I'm not convinced. You got the proof in your hand. Maybe it's a trap. Sure, it's a trap. A tiger's trap. What about the guy, the killer, who took out Speedy and Sandy? He fled through the tunnel ice. That means he knows the Bronx, and very well. I agree with Trash, it could just as easily be a trick. Bullshit! Bullshit! They're trying to rub us out one by one, and we sit here shooting a breeze. Yeah, let's wipe them out! Kill the bastards! This is our territory! You're gonna fight to live! Kill the sons of bitches! I say attack! You fuck, look, it could be a pile of shit out of somebody's asshole. You're talking about the gizmo, right? The tracker. Well, let me tell you, that's Ogre's way of trying to kill us. Look, will you please listen? It was Anne. Where is she? Said she wanted to think. Hot dog. How you doing, hot dog? Huh. Great. Great. The stupid motorcycle pricks are trying to cut me open, that's all. What's the matter with you? You worried about something? Hey, look. I owed you a favor. I just want to know what you're getting me into. This girl. She's very important. Very important. She's going to be the future president of the Manhattan Corporation. She's somewhere in the Bronx, but I don't know where. I got to find her and get her across the river, and that's where you come in. How much are you going to pay me? Don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to me that way ever. 
One more thing. What's that? Arrange a meeting between me and Ice. Between you and Ice? Yeah. Ice, huh? You know, Ice is ambitious. He wants to be head of the writer's gang. Exactly. You're playing with fire. I know. And I love it. I love it. And you wanted to leave me? Yes. Why? Why, Anne? Because now I'm sure I'm the cause of all these killings. And if I stay, there will be a lot more. Nonsense. We were born dead. Life means nothing. We live with death every single day. Death walks with us. Death rides and sleeps with us. We carry its smell under our skins. So don't go blaming yourself. What's the real reason you want to leave? There are millions and millions of reasons. You see, Trash, soon I'll be 18 and of age to inherit the Manhattan Corporation, which controls over 60% of the world's arms production. Which means I'd be a mere puppet on a string, manipulated by greedy, power-crazed hands. They're unscrupulous, Trash. And I don't want any part in it. Yet, without me, they're powerless. So, now you understand why they'll act at any cost, use any means to get their filthy hands on me. No, Trash. These killings were not a coincidence. If this is true, you'd be running right back into their arms. I know. But I prefer this, to seeing you kill. Stay, Anne. At least dying for you would give my life a meaning. them out before they get a chance to burn us out. You gotta be kidding. You got your gray matter in your butt. Yoga picks up the telephone and calls his pals. It's our ass. Hey there, it's trash. Did you see Ann? The zombies caught her. And it's war. I trust trash. That this has finally made you see things clear. You got one option, war against the tigers. I ain't talking options. My plan is to visit the ogre. Talk to the ogre? Are you out of your fucking mind, man? Shut your mouth and listen, asshole. I think those Manhattan big shots are trying to trap us because of Ann. We could never take them on alone. We need allies. And that means every writer in the Bronx. And only the ogre could deliver them. How the hell are you going to get to the ogre alone? You realize that's no man's land? You got to get through the territories of the jackals, the scavengers, the sharks. Well, it's right, Trish. You never make it alone. Then I'll have to bring some men with me. You, Hole and Hawk. Hey, can I go? You better keep your eye on that one.
So you are Trash's lay. You shouldn't have done this. He'll kill you. Have some fun. Go on. Trespassing trash. I said, you're trespassing trash. You don't say. Did you come looking for trouble? Gotta get to the other side of the Bronx. Fast! Hmm. What's the rush? Planning on going to a meeting or something? Yeah, right. Between me and yoga. You're lucky, Trash. You see... I got a soft spot in my heart for you. And they say you got an iron heart. Beat it. Before I change my mind. Okay, baby. I owe you one. Hey, looky, looky. Hot dog's down the street in his truck, flicking the lights on and off. Hot diggity dog. I wonder what the bastard's up to. Hey, where are you going? I got me a little score to settle with that son of a bitch. And this time, Trash won't be around to help him. Welcome, General. Let me introduce myself. 
I'm the one they call Hammer. God. This strange silence. And it's a trap. Break this to you, Hammer. But the bird has flown the coop. You're too late. The bird has flown a coop. Meaning? That uh, little red riding hood was caught by the big bad seven dwarfs. Where is she? The zombies got her. Are you bullshitting me? Hey, man. Don't you know it's against the law to bullshit a cop? What about Tresh? Oh, that son of a bitch went to the ogre to beg for help. Fresh, yoga. I'll tell you what we do. You have the girl for me by tonight. And I'll clean up your trash for you. You better take this, you might need it. Now that you're switching sides. Anyway, it goes good with the uniform, General. Two birds with one stone. Ogre and trash. <laughs> that would leave me with a nice slice of the Bronx. You know what I need? I need something that belongs to Trash. Something that's his. I think I got just a thing for you. What do you say? Will this do? It's perfect. Three's a crowd, but four means trouble. Enough of this peace talk. We got a visitor. I'll take care of him. Trash and yoga together. Let's go.
Hot dog. I spotted them. Contact you later. We're in tiger territory. I'm shit myself. How are we gonna break in there? I got an idea. Yeah. How you doing in there? Hey, it's just fine. Looks like you're having fun. I am. Come on in. Oh, I just like to watch. <laughs> Food supplies. La Cienega Heights. Celine Melrose. Electrical supplies. Sunset Heights. Hippo. Snake. Prepare the supplies for delivery. These goods are for the people of the Bronx. Kindly bestowed upon them by their generous king. Take care of it. Let's pick the music up. More lively. Take me to the yoga. <laughs> I could send you to hell. I said, take me to the yoga. <laughs> 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 Sorry I can't hang around. The yoga blames you for killing one of his men. You bastard. You work for the Manhattan Corporation. I work for nobody. I don't care about the Manhattan Corporation. I don't care about the girl. I don't care about politics. I don't care about anything. I believe in nothing. I'm Hammer. The exterminator. You're the biggest son of a bitch in the world. 
You afraid somebody might remember you were born in the Bronx? No, you're wrong. I'm gonna make sure that nobody ever forgets. Just stay where you are. You bastards. You let them get away. Hi, Trash. You know the ogre doesn't like unexpected visitors. Come on. Move. Hot dog. Yeah, it's hot dog. She says hammer. I should make it back there in about 15 minutes. 15 minutes, I'm out of here. Hammer, I need some money. Don't make me repeat myself. You do what I tell you. You stay there and wait for me. You hear me? I don't like to repeat myself. You stay there and wait. No one alive can trick Hammer from the Bronx. You come sneaking into my kingdom like a thief. You kill one of my best men. You say you didn't do it? <laughs> you hear that witch? Trash tells lies. Somebody else is pointing a gun at Trash. Really? Really? Who? That scum, Hammer. Hammer? You brought Hammer into my territory? He works for the Manhattan Corporation. His job is to get my girl and bring her back to them. Yeah, I heard there was a rich broad hiding out in the Bronx. But I never imagined she'd be staying with the likes of you. Trash. Very funny. Look, Hammer's turning us against each other. Yeah. That's his style, all right. Just so he could get off his, uh, sadistic rocks. Could explain why the zombies kidnapped my girl. <laughs> what do you say, Colin? I say you're toys in the attic. All right, we may be toys in the attic. And that girl may have been yours when she first got here, but now she's Trash's girl. And if he finds out you got her here, he's going to kill you. You don't know Trash, he's crazy. But if we get together on this, there's a chance we could come out smelling like a rose. Let me think about it. For Christ's sakes, man, we don't have time to think. There's no time. Tough shit. If you want an answer, you must wait. You're the king of the Bronx. But if you don't want Hammer to screw you, you got to give me a hand. Oh, yeah? The moment I move, it's war. The shit's gonna hit the fan. Maybe not. We can free the girl and screw up Hammer's scheme. Go on. Me and you could take on the zombies and... Uh... And if we win, have less trouble after. Now I know why you really came. You want me to help you get your chick back. Okay. I'm with you. I owe Hammer one anyway. I'm coming with you. Good. You can cover my back just in case he's lying. I want out. You don't have any. What are you worried about? Pretty soon we'll be ripping each other apart. Come on, let's go. Drop me off and I want you to watch ice. Let's go.
Be careful. Me now. I got a feeling that before this is over, we're gonna owe each other a whole shitload of favors. You've been using your whip again? Yeah, just like you taught me. Let's go. Go. I don't trust him that much either, but he's the only chance we got. All we gotta do is take him that girl over there. Make a deal with him and we got it made. Trash is out of the way, ogres out of the way. It's all ours. Got that? Okay, man. It's a deal. Hammer, if you don't get the girl by 11 o'clock tomorrow, I'll have your head. Hammer here. I saw the girl. Ice is making the deal. We should be back. Right. I'm gonna go back and get him now. She'll be here in a half hour. I don't want anybody to see her. Nobody's to know anything about her. Shh. We'll fly her in. In a helicopter. Shh. Oh, my God. 
Oh. Oh. Which? You go that way. Trash that way. Lay into each other, men. That's Got it. Him. Well, if it isn't the great ogre. This really is a surprise. Foiled at the last minute. How could you think you'd get away with it? Well, Ogre, what makes you leave your kingdom to honor us with a visit? I was merely making a tour to see if my subjects were still loyal to their king. By way of the sewers? <laughs> there should be no doubt, men, about my loyalty. I'm not so sure. Who's that? Why is she chained up like that? Respect for the king. Doesn't mean I have to tell you my business. You hear that, men? You hear that, men? The great ogre doesn't trust us. Look, you're surrounded by your loyal subjects. That's true, Golem. But they are there. And you are here, in front of me. General leading the field of battle just before the fun starts? Trash isn't gonna like that. Are you threatening me, Peg Lake? Yep, I'm threatening you. Because you messed everything up. I won't get any money or nothing. For once, you're right. Trash, check it out. I'll take care of this. Are you through? I'm ashamed of you, man. Are you really gonna listen to what this twat has to say? Wait a minute. Kidding. What does she know with her fancy dresses, with her cocktail parties, this rich bitch from Manhattan? You and me are like brothers. We come from the gutter. The real gutter. You talk too much, Ice. I bet you told you I made a deal with Golem, huh? And made a deal with Hammer. All that crap. 
Well, what you don't know is, I did it for you. You want to be a leader? Then be realistic. It's the only way there's no idealism left in this fucking world. But what do I know? What do you know? We're just a couple of do-gooders in a world that doesn't know... the rich chick that's gonna inherit the Manhattan Corporation. Why is it a sin? A sin? <laughs> Hardly. Baby, I think it's fantastic. Attention all units. Attention all units. This is Command Post Zebra. Command Post Zebra. Commence operation. Burnt Earth. This is Command Post Zebra. Can you read me? Over. Command Post Zebra. This is Bumblebee. Commencing phase one. Commencing phase one. There's still no sign of a firefight. Hush, hush, calling Hammer. Answer, please. Tell them I'm on my way. Hammer, I don't want any evidence or witnesses left behind. Ashes. Just ashes. Trash. Just think. You could become a member of the board of the world's largest corporation. You, the baddest, dumbest, and poorest mother in the Bronx. Next phase. Look, whatever you got in mind, forget it. Really? That's too bad, because I prepared a surprise for you, trash. Just for you, eh? Survivors this day. Horsemen, ho! 
Marchman! Sir, spread out. Take cover. now entering final phase.